opening to open the patient's chart. Now, when you get the patient's chart open, if it said you have lab results, you're going to want to click on lab to look at all the old lab results. And by default, it just shows you one particular lab. I guess it's the most recent. If you want to see the patient's entire lab history, you click all over here and you can scroll down to see all the labs they've ever had done. Now if you want to look to see if they've had a specific kind of lab done, you can go to select order, find that specific lab type, and it will show that as there as well. Um, but you're looking for the ones that haven't been reviewed, and so usually they'll be the ones at the top in the all view, and you'll want to go through and review them. Now, in order to review labs, the best way to do it is to click this list non-reviewed diagnostic tests only and it'll bring one set of labs up at a time and as you look at them and review them they go away from this view so I'm looking at this patient's uh, looks like a CBC and then I want to mark it as reviewed I click this and it asks you are you sure and you click OK and then it gets rid of that and it shows you the next which is look in this case looks like the manual diff from the same CBC okay I've reviewed that and now it show me your analysis you keep on going and it will continue to show you unreviewed labs until there aren't any more now I'm gonna uncheck that go back to showing all the labs another helpful thing that you can do on the lab screen is when you're looking at a certain lab you can double Double click that lab. Let me show you a di different one here. And it will show you that particular lab value's entire history. Now, this is a little bit different from bringing up a lab from here because, say, there's a lipid panel. Well, it'll only show you the mo all the lipid panels but if you just want to see the LDLs from the lipid panels you can double click the LDL and show you all the LDLs in this case there's just one so there's just one in the list now that's about it as far as reviewing labs go if your message had said uh, you have clinical documents to review then you'll need to go to the re patient's uh, result viewer and that's always on the main uh, tree that shows up first when you open the patient's chart. This is the result viewer. It's a separate, almost like a separate program from the main one, although I guess you just call it a sub program. Now, when you open the result viewer, the specific document that's in here that uh, they're wanting you to look at is going to have a question mark beside it, beside its tab. Now, if there are other old stuff, old things in hits in the patient's result viewer that haven't ever been marked as reviewed, then they're going to show up with question marks too. But if you'll keep your patient's result viewer charts up to date and everything reviewed as either normal or abnormal or severe, then the only question mark that will be there will be the one that's new. And that'll be really helpful and keep you from having to search through every tab to find the newest uh, record that may be the one they were talking about. And so let's just say that this this abnormal pap smear was the one that they wanted us to review. I don't know why these others are not showing up anything inside them, but anyways. What you'll do is you'll find the thing that's unreviewed, which it'll be in white. You'll double click it. You'll open up the actual pap smear, which in this case just says testing because it's a Mickey Mouse chart. but if it were a real pap smear you'd look at it and it's, uh, let's say it was normal you'll click the review button you'll leave this as normal and type a little note uh, in this case I'll just type normal pap and let's say it was collected on 411 that way when I close it the next guy that comes along is gonna see what I just typed reviewed by me on such and such date what it was was a normal pap on 411.08. This I'm sorry, I, I should have said abnormal because somebody put in abnormal here. But you see that whatever you type here is going to be seen by somebody else. That's really helpful because it prevents them from having to actually open the document to see what it was. If you can just put in the, the pertinent information in the little review note, it, it'll be really helpful for yourself or whoever comes along behind you. Um, 
So that's it. Um, if you've got a letter from a consultant that's just kind of telling you what's going on with the patient and you don't really want to label it normal, abnormal, severe, you can always just put un reviewed as unknown and uh, it won't be any of the three and it'll just stay in white but it won't have the question mark beside it as though it needs to be reviewed. That's pretty much it on the, the result viewer as far as reviewing labs. While we're here I'll just give you a quick way to look at the patient's old vitals. Uh, keep in mind that the result viewer only shows by default the information from the last year. If you've got a, an old echo or something from three years ago that you want to try to dig up or if you just want to see what they've had overall and get it to show you everything, you're going to need to go up here and, and and increase this number and click refresh and then it'll show all the old stuff and in this case you saw you see now that Mickey Mouse has vitals entered in from way back but it only showed us one because there's only been vitals entered in Mickey's chart uh, once in the past year. Um, so that can be helpful also. Usually you need to just go back as many years as it takes to get back to around 2003 or 4 because that's when we uh, started using metainformatics to begin with so uh, keep that in mind also. Another quick tip on the result viewer before I leave it is uh, for weight and height uh, growth charts on kids if you'll just click here in the first weight box and drag down and select both of them and then click open it'll bring up a chart and this is an adult so it doesn't show it exactly the way that it would in a child but if this were a child's chart you'd see the growth curves like you're used to seeing in printouts and doctors charts that's it for the result viewer also so we've covered how to how to look up labs and look up clinical documents if you get one of these messages when you get done with that or let's say you got a message from a nurse saying please call the patient because they want to know this or that or whatever your message is when you've handled that message and you want it to go away you highlight it and you click viewed now for me let me just check this box here and I'll tell you what it means in a second for me uh, when I click viewed on a message let's see the Mickey Mouse chart is the one I wanted to click viewed on when I click it it goes away um, by default when you click it it'll turn green and and it'll go away after 24 hours, well not after 24 hours but on the next day at midnight that night it'll go away forever um, now if you want them to go away for forever um, immediately when you click viewed you can just uncheck this box that says show items marked viewed today and then as you go through and you click viewed on messages they'll just go away and so that's about it on checking messages um, We'll see you next time. This is the Metinformatics tutorial, the lesson on navigating a patient's chart and gathering information. We're on the patient list view, which you can get to by clicking the patient list button. And we're going to look at one of the fake charts. We'll look at Minnie's chart this time, one of the Minnie Mouses. and we'll select her and in this view it's, it's better to just single click and then click this button to open the chart if you double click the patient's name sometimes this thing just disappears I'll show you it just goes away instead of opening it up it's kind of a little bug in the system so when she's highlighted select this button and that'll actually open her chart now this is what a chart looks like when you first open it and we're just going to talk about some of the things that that you'll do uh, to gather information on a patient by looking through their chart. First of all you can see their principal doctor on the clipboard view. Uh, you can see this right hand side looks like a clipboard. You might think that you could click on these buttons, alerts, and vitals and have them do something but they don't. Um, at the top here on the actual page you see principal doctor and if somebody doesn't have a doctor assigned for some reason by default it says 01 let's change this on mini you'll never have to actually assign a doctor to somebody but I don't want to say oh one I want you to see that that they can be assigned to actual people and so let's assign mini to dr. Co save that doesn't show up we'll exit out and then open her up again and now she's assigned to the blue suite and Co 
So you know who her doctor is. Um, if she were here in the clinic today and were checked in, she